And Are you, why are you looking directly at him? Yeah, yeah, y'all know. Yeah, yeah, also, yeah, explaining yeah. it to you, because like he's like, yeah. I'm Jacob yeah, Hopkins? Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, yeah, all right, all right, all right. Perfect, perfect. Yeah. I'm Jacob Hopkins, and I'm the voice of Gumball Watterson on The Amazing World of Gumball and Axel Fink on Dragon's Rescue Riders. And I'm Terrell Ransom Jr. I play Darwin Watterson on The Amazing World of Gumball. Well, I got into acting when I was around five years old, and because my dad actually used to be an actor, and um, yeah, we were just running errands one day, and we stopped by his agents, and they took an interest in me, so I started in my like, commercial and live action, and I didn't get into voiceover until around maybe like 10 or 11 years old, because uh, during that time, I had grown up on like Anna Nettie's, Hannah uh, Jack, you know, Chowder, like all of these Cartoon Network shows, and it really they really inspired me to want to be in a Cartoon Network show because it sparked my mind like wait I can actually do this you know right so um, yeah so I was a voiceover agent around 11 years old and my first audition was Gumball and um, I went from like two to three months of like testing um, going in the booth and doing like snippets of episodes and recordings of full episodes just as tests and then after those months finally landed the role so I was watching Hannah Montana and when I was like three and I was like, I was talking to my mom and I was like, yo, like this is really like something I want to do. And she's like, you're three, you, you don't know what you want to do. So then I was, um, I was like, no, nah, I really want to do this. I want to be in like movies and TV shows uh, and magazines and stuff like that. And she was like, okay, well, we'll try it. We'll like see if, it's, if you're like really about it. And I was like, okay, perfect. And I've been doing it literally ever since I'm 16 now, so you can tell it was pretty good. So it was, it was a good choice. It was a good choice. Yeah. Hmm. Oh man, I don't know if there's any like worse moment in my career because I've always loved everything I've done. I mean, my first like big thing when I was nine was playing um, Alexander Drew on uh, True Blood. I played um, like the oldest vampire in this elite vampire council and that was awesome for me as like a nine year old. I was totally in love with vampires and monsters and all that. And then Gumball and then Goldbergs and now Dragon's Rescue Riders coming out February 7th this year. And every single thing that I've done, I've loved and I do it because I love it. Right, right. Um, for me, what's been like the best thing to eat? Um, I think one of the coolest probably was probably the Amazing World of Gumball, for sure, because it's like I, I was watching that show before I got on it. So, you know, like I was literally like me and my literally entire family would watch like this shows when it would come on. Uh, worst, I think, not exactly worst, but it's like every time you, you know, you, like you miss an opportunity if, and you get like really close, like in an audition or like callback and stuff like that, it's always like, always kind of hurts, but like, you eventually like get over it because you know like the the next opportunity is always going to be like sometimes better. So, you know? <laughs> it's funny because like they're always like making jokes like all the constantly because like sometimes I don't go into like when I when I was first like going to school I didn't really say anything mostly because like. Uh, before I was homeschooled a lot and so then I just knew a lot of actors and so then like it was kind of like the norm for me since like I so then going into high school I was like I didn't even say anything and then like someone had like come across my Instagram or something and they were like oh you play this and this and it like went around the whole school and it's, it's funny because like they they all like make jokes and stuff but it, it, it's cool though kind of like balancing though school and work is definitely kind of hard especially like um Especially when you're in high school, for sure, because then you have like you have to deal with like uh, tests and SATs and stuff like that, and like trying to balance like work and school is kind of hard, but we make it work. Yeah, yeah. Now, like definitely like the balancing the schoolwork and the acting is kind of tough. You just gotta really like stay on top of everything. I usually just like get my work ahead of time whenever I know I'll be out and stuff. Kind of like now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but um, yeah, I definitely like get recognized, you know what happens at school. But I really like to hang around with like my true friends who really don't care about all yeah, that. Exactly. They really the care homies, about, the like, yeah, they care about the type of person you are and that's what they judge you on. And you know, I'm grateful of course for those people. Yeah, you can find me on Instagram and Twitter. Actually, my Instagram is Hopkins Jake and my Twitter is Hopkins Jake 5. 
Uh, for me, uh, Instagram, Terrell Ransom Jr., Twitter, Terrell Ransom Jr., that is T E R R E L O R A N S O M J R. So, yeah, you got it. Oh, yeah, <laughs> exactly. I always say to never give up, never, like, always persevere. Because, like, the, when I was, when I hit that age, when I was talking about, like, 11, when I really wanted to get into, like, cartoons and voiceover, I, I kind of felt like it was impossible. And I really had to train a lot. I mean, like I said, I went through, like, three months of training and testing for a gumball. And the studio themselves, like, you know, they were, they were putting me through all that. And um, I never gave up. N n I, I never... Never doubted myself for a moment because you, you don't get anywhere like great. Like you never come out on top without hard work. And if you if you persevere and you put in your best effort, then for sure you'll achieve your dreams. No doubt about it. For sure, for sure. And definitely, I think really like one of the biggest things is to like not give up. Because like doing what you like, what we do, it's like easy to like. There's like millions of other people in the business like you're always like kind of like going through these processes and, and sometimes it always doesn't work out but the biggest thing is to like know that there's like other opportunities waiting for you and um so never giving up is a huge thing and also like just taking criticism because like no one of course no one like knows how you want to do something but still it's, it's also uh, good to like take advice and like uh, and take other opinions because sometimes they, they definitely do matter oh yeah